Hi guys, today I just want to talk about uh, motion and the horizontal force acting on vehicles. So, uh, in a stationary vehicle, the horizontal forces, well there are no horizontal forces, the only forces acting on the vehicle is gravity and up thrust, but we're not going to talk about gravity and up thrust, just the horizontal forces. But with a stationary vehicle, there are none, so the, the forces are balanced. So we can just write balanced here. So balanced forces, nothing's really happening. Now with acceleration, you've got a force going forwards and we're going to call that drive. Now the driving force is much bigger than your, your drag or your air resistance, the friction. So in this case, when the vehicle is accelerating, the forces are unbalanced. Now likewise, that with a decelerating uh, vehicle, uh, the drive is going to be less than the resistive forces, so the drag is going to be much greater, therefore the vehicle is going to slow down. So the, the forces here are still unbalanced. Now what a lot of students uh, fail to realize is when you've got a constant velocity, when a vehicle's going at a constant velocity, the force going forwards is equal in magnitude to the force going backwards. So drive and drag are actually equal. So uh, balanced forces. Or oh, another way of putting it is that the, the net force is zero. Let me just write this here. Net force equals zero. And it's something that a lot of students find hard to kind of comprehend, but the way I try to explain it, well, it has to, the net force, the drag and the drive have to balance, otherwise we'd end up in one of these two pictures here. For example, if the drag was too big, we'd decelerate. If the drive was too big, we'd accelerate. So the forces here have got to balance. It doesn't mean when you're going at a constant but constant velocity, you don't need a driving force. You do need a driving force. It just has to be equal to the resistive uh, drag force, and therefore your net force is zero. Okay, bye for now.